Hi my little flowers. I haven't seen you in a while. Or I guess you haven't seen me in a while. But yeah. My tumbler enough for you. My galaxy pocket. And my flower crown. Do you even follow me on Tumblr? If you don't, you should, and I'll follow you back. And if you don't think I look Tumblr, then you can just get out. But I'm hoping most of you are gonna be like, yes, girl, yes, yes. Anyways, hi guys. I just also want to mention that the scenery might look different to you guys. That's because I'm in my sister's room because it happens to be cleaner than my room at the moment and I really wanted to film this video while I still had some good light going on and I did not want to clean my room so she was kind enough to let me use hers. And so this is this is July's room in case anybody is a creeper and just wants to know what it looks like. It's pretty colorful. I like it. It's matching my mood today. I feel like I have a very colorful attitude today. Is that a bad thing? I feel like that's used to like describe somebody who's being really bad. I don't know. For me it feels good because I'm it's like rainbows and happiness. <sighs> don't judge me guys. Don't judge me. So today is going to be about questions and answers. I asked my Instagram followers if they had any questions they wanted to ask me, diabetes related or not. And I actually got some pretty good questions. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and answer those. Some of them I'm not exactly sure how to interpret them, but I'm going to answer them the best that I can. The first question I received is from Shem... <laughs> oh gosh, Shem Javi Garola. Let me see if they have their actual name. No, it just says just a girl with a camera. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a screenshot of their, um, of their page on here if you want to follow them. This looks like a pretty good account, actually. Those are really nice pictures. Anyways, they want to know, which camera do you use to record videos and click photographs? I use a Canon T3. Um, it does everything that I need it to do. It... Um, takes really good photographs, it's really easy to use, it didn't take me long to figure out how to use it. So I love my Canon, I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a semi-expensive uh, camera to start off your photography career, I don't know, it just, um, when I realized I wanted to get into photography I knew I wanted a nice camera but nothing too expensive until I realized that I might want to make something bigger of it. So yeah, that's the camera that I use. That's the camera that I'm using right now and it is like my most prized possession at the moment. I love it so much and um, I pretty much like to take it everywhere because I never know if I'm going to see something and my cam or my phone is an iPhone 4 which I'm not trying to put down. Like iPhone 4s are fine but it's also really really old and it likes to shut down the camera app a lot and the quality of the photos is just not that great and I'm constantly seeing things that I want to take photos of so I'm always wanting to have my camera with me um, so yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty good size too to fit in my purse uh, so yeah that's the answer to that question Felicia Kaiser or Kaiser I'm not sure how to pronounce it asks what inspires you to take such wonderful photographs um, I think if you look at my Tumblr description or my Twitter description, it'll say that I'm obsessed with all things beautiful. Which basically means that, I don't know, when I'm having like a bad day, and I have a lot of bad days, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I like to find just little things in life that I feel are really beautiful or like touch my heart in some way, if that makes sense. And so when I'm walking around, I'm out and about, or even when I'm just at home, if there's something that I think oh wow, this is so beautiful in this moment, I have to share this with people. Or if I think of an idea in my head um, that I think would, if I could make it come to life, would make people be like, wow, that's so beautiful. Maybe I want to do something like that. Or I don't know, anything like that, then that's when I take the photograph. So sometimes it's just when I see something, then I'll take the photograph. And sometimes I actually come up with the concept in my head beforehand, and then I like... I like the whole process of setting up the scene 
like you know arranging the flowers in a certain way with this or that deciding how I'm gonna pose in the photo or have someone else pose I really enjoy that process so um, I feel like that was a question and also a really great compliment so thank you so much that made me really happy next question comes from mementos and so yeah hey Sue she and I have done a lot of like uh, photography contests together here on Tumblr I mean on Instagram but yeah, I think I, I said Tumblr because it says please follow her Tumblr. So I'm actually, I'm going to put her Tumblr into this video so you guys can follow it. But she takes really beautiful photographs and she's, it looks like she's pretty close to 2,000 followers. So give her a follow because she, um, she puts a lot of effort into her photos I can tell and I think they're beautiful. Anyways, her question is, what's one thing that you would invent if anything was possible? Okay, I love this question because I have a really good answer. I would invent some sort of a machine that could record your dreams for you so that when you wake up you could watch every dream that you had because I have the most just crazy dreams. I have lucid dreams, I have really realistic dreams and rather than having to explain them to people I would love if I could just show them or I could re-watch them all these like magical things that are happening so if you could like, I don't know, stick a wire or like a headband thing over your head that connects to like a little recording device. I don't I don't even know how that would work out. I'm clearly not a scientist. But if there was something like that that would just like suck all your dreams out and then you wake up and you're like, wow, I really want to relive that. That was amazing. You could play it for all your friends. Like how cool would that be? That would be really cool. Next question. Um Lefty Rhonda 13. Um they say that they're not a photographer, they use iPhones only. Anyways, their question says, tell us a little bit about your workflow. Okay, so I'm not sure if they mean like my video slash photography workflow or if they mean my literal workflow, so I'll just go with both. So I think I sort of already answered this. My photography just comes from me just um, finding things that I think are just like absolutely gorgeous and I just can't help but want to take a photo of it and then have fun editing it blah 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 and so I've actually been kind of um, considering making another Instagram just for like my silly photographs that are just like that I don't put any work into because every single photo that I post on Instagram I put a lot of thought into it before I post and um, I do edit them and I do uh, have the idea in my head usually before I take the photo so um, and I have a bunch of like silly just natural photographs that I keep on my phone that sometimes I want to share but they don't really go in with my Instagram feed they don't really look so good so I don't know if you guys think that I should make another Instagram for like like a more personal Instagram if that makes sense then let me know because I might do that um, so that's that's my workflow there um, as far as filming videos um, I just have to be really inspired, I have to have enough energy and feel like I'm willing to talk to the camera like I am today because I'm feeling colorful, whatever that means. Um, so I just like to film whenever I'm really feeling like I gotta get something out and I just gotta share it with you guys and I also weirdly enough enjoy editing the videos so it's like something to keep me busy for the day, like I'll film this video and then I'm gonna import it into my computer and I'm gonna edit it and spend a good couple hours doing that. and. That's how I like to spend my time. I'll probably have like a movie going on while I'm doing that and I don't know. I just find it so enjoyable. So there's that. Um, my actual workflow, uh, I work at a store called Body Central and you can visit that store online at bodycentral.com and I'll put a link for that below. There's also a catalog and I've worked there since February so not that long and at the most I work 12 or 16 hours a week. I haven't really worked that much lately but um, it's a pretty... It's a pretty, what would you call it? I'm not going to say easy job because it requires a lot of like multitasking and things like that. But I mean the hours are, oop, I got a message. Oh, I got another message. Oh, I'm popular I guess. Just kidding, that was probably from my mom. Body Central, what do I do? I, I just, I work at the cash register. I help customers find clothes. I put clothes away, unpackage clothes. Um, pretty much anything you could picture somebody doing who works in a clothing store is what I do and um, yeah the hours are pretty easy I only work four hour shifts and that's what's good for me right now with the way my health has been um, I need a job that's sort of like that so it's kind of perfect for me um, so yeah that's my workflow there 
I hope I answered your question correctly. Here's a diabetic question. How long have you been a type 1 diabetic and how long have you had your Omnipod? Okay, so I've definitely addressed this in other videos, but if you haven't seen it, um, yeah, definitely go watch it, but I'll also answer it here. So I have been a type 1 diabetic since August 17th, 2009. When I was 15, it was, um, I think, the week before my sophomore year of high school. And now I'm 20, so five years. It'll be five years in August, I guess. And um, I've had my Omnipod, I believe I got it my senior year of high school, and it's been two years since then, so I think it's been a good two years, maybe in like October of 2011, something like that. I think that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. And um, yeah, I feel like my, my diabetic life with the Omnipod versus without the Omnipod are like two different lives. It's, it's so crazy. Um, but yeah. I, I love my Omnipod, in case you guys didn't already know that. I'm, oh, it's over here. I'm rocking it on the arm today, as you can see. Oh, shoot. The person who asked that question, by the way, is Amanda is here 01. So thank you for that question, Amanda. That was a really good question. Next question is from Chris Blanchett. Blanchett? I don't know. I'm very, very bad with saying names, as you guys can probably already tell. I apologize. Um, so he asks, have you ever used photography to get through a hard time? Yes. That is exactly the reason why I got into photography, because I needed a good hobby, and, um, I don't know, I just started snapping photos with my phone, and it just gave me such satisfaction, and, um, then I got this camera, and it's brought me so much joy, and this has been a really tough year for me for many reasons. If you're a close friend of mine, you'll know that several things have happened. My dog passed away this year. Um, my aunt passed away, I'm not going to get into everything that's happened, but a lot of things have happened and um, having photography as an outlet has been huge in my life, so I don't know what I would have done without this camera. I would have kept using my crappy phone, um, but yeah, definitely that's where my photography, or I guess my inspiration comes from, is just like, if I need something to help me get through something, I'm just going to snap a photo, edit it, and put it on Instagram. That is my solution. Um, so yes, very good question because that is completely relevant and so true, my goodness. Okay, Soline asks, what is your favorite thing about the Omnipod? Okay, once again, I did address this in my um, how to put on an Omnipod video, so give that a watch please because I put a lot of work into that one and it's one of my favorite ones. Um, but my favorite thing about the Omnipod is the fact that it's like tubeless, most insulin pumps have tubes. And um, you can pretty much put it anywhere, and it's also waterproof, so I don't have to worry about when I go swimming having to deactivate it or whatever. I don't really know much about other kinds of insulin pumps, so correct me if I'm saying anything that's not correct. Um, yeah, I don't have to worry about showering with it or anything. It's just like a, I mean, there is a cannula that's under my skin, but it's basically like a sticker. You just stick, and then you have your PDM, and you just put in, oh, I'm going to eat this many carbs and then it injects your insulin for you it's so simple like I think that's the main thing Omnipod is extremely simple the putting it on the taking it off the using it in general is just very um, it's very user friendly and I appreciate that because it makes my life a whole lot easier M Gray Bill asks what got you into photography in the first place how did this all begin so I've sort of already um, answered that it was just, I wanted a hobby, I guess. Weirdly enough, I know it sounds kind of hokey, but I went to, I guess you could call a psychic, like, advisor person, and I had an hour session um, with him, in which he kind of, like, told me about my future and my past, and about my spirit and my soul, and, and um, I was kind of skeptical, but he kept telling me I need to do photography and at this time I was thinking I'm not really into it, I really like to write and I was like maybe photography is like a metaphor for just something artistic in general and I was assuming that he was talking about writing because that's what I did before this. I still like to write but I used to write a whole lot more and I was like I think he's just telling me that I need to be more creative because it's healthy for me to get out my emotions and um, so I never thought I would really like photography so I guess it began when I 
got my phone or when I got an Instagram, I guess, um, when I discovered Visco, which is Visual Supply Co., which you should all get. It's available for Android as well, and it started off with the iPhones. Um, but yeah, and I discovered like how cool it is to edit your photos and make them look the way you want them to look, and it was just fun. So that's how that started. Oh, I have a Snapchat. I recently got a Snapchat. Add me if you want. Um, I'm not the best at replying to personal Snapchats, but I will look at your Snapchat stories and you can look at mine. I usually have a pretty long story every day that I add onto there. Um, and that's at Elise G. Everything that I have is Elise G. My Twitter, my Tumblr, my Instagram, and my Snapchat. My kick, if you want to kick me, just don't be a creepier about it. And I'm fine with that. Everything is Elise G. So, um, Ask FM, which I don't really get on, is also Lisa G. So, just in case you're wondering. Okay, it's filming. I'm sorry, guys. My camera stopped filming and it never tells me when it's going to do that. So, I actually answered the last two questions, but then it, it didn't, I didn't film it. I'm having my sister help me film, film this for me because I didn't want to put everything back on the, okay, that's enough, on the tripod. So, let me go. It's funny because the first time I answered this question I'm about to answer, I was like freaking out because I never had time to think about it before I had and I just read it and I had to think and it was difficult for me, but now I've already answered it. So, um, one of the last questions I have on here is from my friend Daniel and I love Daniel and, I mean, darn it. Um, he said, can I actually put this back on? He goes by I Dan the Man on um, Instagram, and I think just Dan the Man on Vine. He makes really cool vines. Check him out. Anyways, he says, if you could switch bodies with a guy for one day, what are three things you'd do? So, the first thing I would do is just simply walk around as a guy and just see how differently people treat me. I've always been interested in that, like the psychology of that, and I feel like it would be such a surreal experience, like, just having people look at me differently and not having to worry about being a girl walking down the street and just, I don't know, seeing how people would approach me. I think that's so interesting. So I would do that first. Um, the second thing I would do is flirt with a girl and see if I could get her to go on a date with me, like as a guy, because I feel like that would be really, really funny. And I would have to like pull out all my smooth moves and see if it actually worked because as a girl I guess I kind of judge guys on like what they choose to say to girls to pick them up but what would I do if I was a guy? So yeah I would do that. The third thing because I'm obsessed with like guys fashion for some reason I think guys fashion is so cool is I would go to a store and I would dress myself up in the coolest, manliest yet sleekest and suave outfit that I could find. I think that'd be so much fun. So those are the three things I would do and I love you Daniel. Thank you for that question. Um, the last question is also from a friend of mine. Her name is Matea. She goes by Matea World Peace and her question I actually wasn't sure how to answer because I didn't know what she meant by it but it says, have you ever used Ipsy or anything like it? So I googled Ipsy and I guess it's some sort of website where you can like uh, create your own customized like makeup bags or something like you have like your own little profile and I guess they they mail you like um, makeup products that are like customized for you I don't know if I'm getting that wrong that's what I understood from like the little description um, or anything like it no I've never visited anything like that I'm not a huge makeup person I really love um, my liquid eyeliner and like doing my eye makeup and stuff like that but I'm not like I don't I don't wear a ton of makeup my makeup routine is like a five minute thing so no I've never done that but if you want to know how I do my makeup um, I can film a video with that too so, yeah, that's all the questions, and thank you guys so much. Yes! Thank you, Dolly.